Hi there, in, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a layer extent, uh, i.e. a polygon, a rectangle uh, shape, uh, to um, show the extents of not, not just uh, a raster, as I've got here, but also of a vector layer. So as you can see here, I have our Orbis uh, map uh, underneath there, that's our map service that uh, we create ourselves, and you can see I have this uh, bit of SRTM GeoTIFF for elevation uh, in um, Austria. So what, what I want to do is create a, a, a effectively a rectangle, a polygon that defines those extents for, for whatever reason, further analysis, some kind of uh, metadata for coverage, etc. So but I want to draw a polygon around here. So the the tool for this is in processing toolbox. I just typed raster up there and one of the tools that uh, does come up is extract layer extent. Uh, because it works on a raster. So I've selected um, my SRTM. I could actually select the whole of our Orbis um, service. Now just basically kind of be a global rectangle in 3857. Uh, but I'll choose this uh, SRTM. Uh, just save it to a temporary layer. But I could click on this and go to a particular output uh, file. Run in background. And it's pretty, it's pretty instant, really. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a very rapid tool. So you can see how it's created this polygon that covers the, uh, that raster itself. So, and what I can do, actually, is if I just double click on that, go to layer rendering, and just alter the um, transparency a bit so you can um, clearly see. So if I turn off SRTM now, that's gone. I've got the uh, polygon, the extent, uh, which um, fits there. So it goes there, and there's SRTM. So you can see how it's created this polygon, which is uh, selectable. If I click on Info Tool, I can click, get the details, minimum, X and Ys, max, etc. Uh, but also I could click on that extent it's just created and export the features to a shapefile tab or what have you to, uh, to another, um, for another system, uh, and indeed change the, um, I could go to 3857, uh, change the CRS there. I've just zoomed in here and loaded in um, some lines, this layer from uh, some previous videos, uh, just, to, just to clarify how it uh, works on vectors as well. So we know it's worked on show the extent for the whole raster, uh, but what about what does it do with just these polylines? Well, just run the tool again, choose your vector layer, temporary layer, run in background, and um, I've given this very sort of red neon colour so it stands out. So let's just move that on top. So you can see how it's now created this extent for all those um, those line objects. Uh, there's a couple of polylines there that fit within the box. So it works on vector as well as raster. Uh, thank you. Hope that's useful.